Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out these two new sets uh, Dime Press brought over to HSN. Um, I think they pair together well just from the names here. So uh, these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So thank you for using those if you can. Um, and those are just, you know, um, description boxes under the video. You can click on the video title or you can um, click on, I think there's like a little carrot or it says show more. I mean carrot, I mean like a triangle <laughs> and that all expands the description box. Um, so let me open these guys up. We have the Seasons Greetings die kit and as you can see they're nice big sentiments and then a winter slimline background die set which I am super happy to see. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay, um, okay, well let's talk about these sentiments. And then um, we'll just pair them up. I think it'll make a nice simple card. And of course you can always use these in any way. But I just thought these would pair together really nicely. So we have the Season Greetings dies. Um, they have the kind of delicate word or wording. And then the, um, I just want to call it a shadow blackout. I guess it's a shadow outline let's say outline die <laughs> uh, those are all different they do different things right with a shadow or blackout but anyway merry christmas season greetings peace and joy have a holly jolly christmas jingle bells ho 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 and believe oh my gosh this is so cute and look how nice and big they are so um just to give you a kind of an idea of the measurements yes i'm still missing my <laughs> metal ruler it's somewhere here so it's kind of hard for me to see through this one because it's so see-through well it's easy to see through but it's hard to see the numbers uh, about four inches by like three and a quarter ish I mean this one's much longer four and a half a little bit shorter this way it's like two and a half you know yeah like three just over three and a half on that one yeah, four and a half. I was going to say, what did I say? What number did I say right now? Um, so that gives you an idea. And look at this big boy. That's the have a holly jolly Christmas one. Oh my goodness. So it's four inches. And in the other direction, about four inches also. I mean, look at that. Merry Christmas. Beautiful. And let's look at the slimline dies. So I can just pair this up, do a little background, pop on a sentiment. And since the sentiment has that shadow die or the... <laughs> outline die it won't just like fade into the background you know what i'm saying so it'll definitely pop up where you can see it very well of course that did come with the um marquee cutting folder if you don't have a marquee any machine that cuts the metal dies will work and vice versa any thin metal die can go into the diamond press marquee and the little guy as long as they're the right size right um and then this one comes with an elongated folder for slimline dies such as these and we'll give them a measure in just a minute, but I'm sure they're eight by three something. We'll see. Um, beautiful holly. How cute is that? And this little background here with like that. Um, if you, I, if I would remember the name of the quilting pattern, I would say star, but I think it has something else. Really pretty though. Look at that. And then, oh, oh, how cute. So this one, look at this. Okay, so we have them here. Clearly this is the holly one. This is that one with that beautiful quilted pattern. Kind of a Nordic pattern. And then this one, look at the little, <laughs> I was to say little people. These are not people, these are deer. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the little houses, right? So like, that's just a cute background like this. But they're saying you can also piece back into it or you can even just use the little pieces on their own, you know, here and there. Oh, how cute would that be? Because the little deer, I mean, they cut out perfectly, right? Oh my gosh, and the little house and everything. Super cute. So I'm going to grab some papers. Um, and you know what? We'll cut all three of the backgrounds just so you can have a good look at them. I know people appreciate that. And then we'll um, pair some up with some of the uh, sentiments there. And I'll be right back. I chose all pearlescent papers, so I think it's going to be fun. This one's metallic, and my ca camera is kind of freaking out about that. But let's put these to the side. Um... Oh, and measuring these guys, I said I would. Um, so I usually measure the die, and that kind of gives us an idea about how big the um, the die cut will be. So yeah, it's right about an eight and a half. So it's just a little bit smaller than eight and a half. I would probably say maybe eight and a quarter by the time you cut it. By yeah, probably by three. Yeah, so it's just over eight and just over three. 
like in an eighth on that one. This one has um, lines that I can kind of see better there. Three and a quarter, so it's probably eight and a quarter. Yep, all right, on those two. So I'm gonna take off my sweater and get a little warm. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is cut this one out. Sorry, I just wanna get off the backing here. Get that little glue off blue strip. Um, I just have this paper. It's a little bit thick. And I'm just going to pop that on there. I'll trim this down. Um, this is um, a four size paper because I have some European size papers. If, if this was a two size paper, you could definitely cut it right across your paper like this and you would have all that paper to cut more off of. But since a four size paper is like eight and a quarter already, um, actually I probably could line it up. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> so I'll use it on that side. Um, I'm going to cut this one out of white. I think this frosty white paper. So again, I'll just pop that through. And this one out of this metallic paper. I hope that'd be really pretty, this blue metallic. And I think I'll put it right on here and I'll cut this one out here with you. I did bring out this blue because I thought that was pretty too, but I want to use a metallic. Why not? And then we'll go from there. Since this will be a relatively quick video, I just figured we would cut all three of these guys. And again, I like to use a well-loved folder so you can see that even though it's a little wonky, it'll still cut perfectly fine. Over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> and hopefully you notice I put it a little bit angled. I don't know if you can see that because that way um, it'll just go through a little nicer instead of the rollers hitting like a bump, a straight line there. It'll just roll over. And I'm doing this very slowly so the camera doesn't shake. All right. Oh my goodness, look at the back of that. <gasps> How pretty would that be? Well, if I was gonna do that, I would use white paper. <laughs> it looks really nice um, just from the back, you know? But it gives a different texture. But well, let's, ooh, let's get this baby out. Oh my gosh, you guys. And look at everything cut out. <laughs> like nothing <laughs> stayed behind. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty. Just gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to run the other two through and I will be right back. Okay, and this is the last one here. And I kind of kept the little pieces with these because I want to show you something on those guys. But look at this. All these little, like, doves or little birds. I guess they wouldn't be doves. Maybe partridges. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but really cute. The little houses. Again, cut this out in black and you can have, like, all these little, like, silhouettes. I mean, the stars. Oh my gosh, everything that comes out of this would be really cute. Just use them as like little motifs for other things. But let me get this guy out. This is what I was trying to say. Look at this. Just perfect. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to keep every one of these little pieces for like um, ephemera for like uh, hidden altar paper clips or altar paper clips. How cute. Oh my gosh. You guys. I mean, I <laughs> this is... Every little bit that pops out of this is useful. Look at the little trees. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Look how cute. Okay, I'm going to put those aside carefully because I'm definitely going to keep every bit of that. Even the pieces that come out of this blue one, you know, I mean, on the backside because the paper I used has a different backside. But other than that, it's like little diamond confetti. Kind of an interesting shape. So we have that. I mean, how pretty is that? And then I kept these pieces because I was like, oh, you know what? Now I have all these little leaves. Again, confetti, ephemera, however you want to use it. I mean, this popped just that, just right out, just like that first one did, just real clean. And then, um, I mean, if you wanted to go through again and do this in red and do some paper piecing, it'd be really nice. But look at all these little hollow leaves that you have now. You can use for something else. They come out with little dots. You can also, you know, like I said, put in a shaker or something. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> that one popped right back in the right hole. That's funny. And then we have this guy, right? That first one. I mean, you guys, those are all beautiful. Uh, I'm going to clean these guys out. I'm going to put these in like a little canister or something so I can keep them for another time. And I'll be right back. I'm going to work with um, this like quilted one. And I think I'm going to use Season's Greetings. 
I just need to get this. So I grabbed a piece of that pearlescent cardstock. I cut it to eight and a half by seven. So on the seven inch side, we're going to score it at three and a half inches. And that'll leave us with a slimline card that is three and a half oh, by eight and a half. I want to stay in that groove. <laughs> this paper is really thick, so you right, definitely want to follow through there. Um, but you know, if you like making your cards a different dimension, then do that. <laughs> you like make it a little bit larger, however. And I'm just going to glue that directly down right here. So um, it has some really nice edges. So I'm just going to take my glue and just follow the edges and just put glue, like, you know, in these little square areas. Sorry about that. So, yeah, once I just get glue just in here, you know, in the larger areas, I'll just put it right down right there. And while that dries, I will go and pick up Dorian. But when I come back, I'll have these things cut out. Um, so I chose some colors. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, here they are. I'm using some glitter cards, silver screen. I just love the way this looks on cards, especially Christmas cards and frosty ones like this one. So I'm going to cut the um, background out of that, I think. And I think I'm going to cut the lettering out of the white uh, pearlescent. And I might switch those things. I might cut this out of white and then this out of the silver lettering. We'll see. Um, either way, when I come back, we'll see what choice I made. And um, we'll put that card together. Okay, guys. So, like I said, I had to go pick up my son. But what I'm going to do is glue this on here. And while, um, you know, I took a minute to do that, I'm going to put this on the back of the card. I know that might be a little extra. I got a card during one of uh, the swaps I held recently from Annette Nieves. And she had an embossed panel on the front and on the back and interestingly enough just because it's on the back you think oh you might not see it but when I brought the card out of the envelope uh, you could feel that you know that texture and it felt so pretty so I think we're gonna do that today why not I really love these dies I just want to keep running them through so I ran it through again again I'll just put some glue on the back of this just like I did in the front it's very easy because it has nice large sections so I just kind of ran around the edges like this and then I don't know if you can tell but like these guys kind of are like in a strip so I just went up the strip, up this way, and then also came down them like this. I'm just kind of squeezing a little bit, just getting a little glue on each area. And so I'll go ahead and adhere that on this back side. And that just makes an ultra like deluxe card. It just, it, I'm telling you, it feels really nice. <laughs> so I encourage you guys to try it. And thank you so much, Annette, for the inspiration. And then um, this guy, just like I do with anything else, I'll just turn it back over because that'll help me actually hold it down. Um, that's skinny like this. I'm going to put glue again on the back of my hand, get those little bits down. And um, so as you can see, I went with the pearl and then the silver because um, to keep those two specialty papers away from each other. But look at that. You can't even do that. Not bad. So I'm going to go through and get a little glue all on this. Then I'll position it right on there. I usually start with one end. Just making sure it's in the right position. But you know, we'll do it together so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, I kind of lay it down and kind of eyeball about how much edge it should have. And that way you can kind of nestle in everything else, you know, just to make sure you're good here and there. And then before I really stick it down, I just kind of make sure I'm where I want to be. So I will hold this down for a second. I'm going to put some dimensional adhesives on the back of this and we'll finish up our card. Okay. So I put some dimensional adhesives on the back of that. And I'm just going to let, you know, the background, the beautiful big sentiment do the talking. Now I was thinking about putting it over here with a bow, but I always end up putting things on this side. If you want to put it right in the center, you know, wherever it is that you want to place it. I think I'm just going to place it like right here. And I think you already knew this was coming. Some <laughs> organza ribbon. And again, I'll just make a finger bow with two loops. Yeah, make it a little more substantial. So I'm kind of keeping my fingers a little bit separate so that the bow loops will be a little bit larger. And again, start in the front, go around your index finger, over your middle finger, around the index finger again, over the middle finger, and then we're going to complete our loop. But I'm just going to trim that. So to finish it, we're going to go behind and over everything. And we just created like this loop here. Then I'm going to take this end, and I probably should give myself a little bit more. But that's okay. <laughs> we're just going to shove it under that little loop that came across our finger. 
give it a tight little snug. I'm bringing it more this way because I can tell that this, these loops are bigger than those. So I just brought it over this way. And you can always adjust a little bit. Just kind of keep an eye out. There we go. And there we are. Beautiful little bow. And you know, just however you want to fix it up to style that. And I am going to use a little bit of hot glue just right there. I'm going to pop this on here. So for now, I'm just going to give it a little zhuzh here. Make it look a little nicer. And I usually burn, singe the edges. Be very careful when you do this. Just barely touch it. That's all it needs. Just a little something to hold it from fraying. You can just leave it. You don't have to do this if you don't like, but I pretty much always do. <laughs> and that'll be that for my card. So I'll stick that down there, like I said, with some hot glue. And look how pretty and just boom, you know? <laughs> and it just feels so nice. So whenever you know, you're know you having the card in an envelope and they bring it out, you can feel that texture on the back so you know something's going on there and see how pretty it is on the back too. And I promise you I will be using these guys um, very soon in another video because uh, Diamond Press has many beautiful things that I can help I can use to help you know dress these guys up so I will use these um, coming up all right so keep an eye out so thank you so much Diamond Press for sending these items for review I'll have some images for you guys I'll have the links in the description box and oh I just want to show you I put my little ephemera pieces in here the little <laughs> deer and stuff I don't go to KFC too often but um, when I do I keep these guys and now they have clear lids so you can see right in there and so cute I mean oh my gosh you guys oh <laughs> you know it's, I mean there's just this is adorable all right I'll see you guys in the next one bye now